Welcome back to TK Tennis. So have you ever wondered or thought about using a racket strung at 22 pounds like Adrian Manorino on the ATP Tour uses? I've thought about it many times as well, so I thought it would be a good idea to lace up two rackets for both Dana and myself and see if we can keep the ball in play. But first, before we take a look at the whole video, take a look at these four shots that I hit with each racket, one strung at 22 pounds, which is with the gray alu power, and then the Kirschbound Super Smash strung at 52 pounds. If you have a keen ear, you can probably hear the difference between the two rackets. Today we're doing the Adrian Manorino experiment. We have two rackets strung both at 22 pounds. I've marked them both with red tape, so on video you'll know when we're using the rackets with 22 pounds. So I have my racket strung with Luxalon Alu Power at 22 pounds, which is the same string that Manorino uses. And Dana here has her trusty vocal PV4 um, strung with Kirschbaum Black Shark at 22 pounds. Jeez. <sighs> Just try and hit normal first, right? <laughs> well, that was the court. I don't think that was the strings. Sounds so different. So, just normal strokes. Surprising. So what I'm sensing as long as you accelerate over the ball like you normally do, there's no issue. There's not much of an issue. Do a little slower acceleration. All right. Do you feel like you have to work on covering the ball a little bit more? And covering the ball, making sure you get over it and hit with spin. Oh, it's not terrible. No, right? it's way better at the dampener. Oh, you notice the difference with the dampener? Oh, huge. Oh. <laughs> if you notice, we're not playing on our normal, really good courts. These courts are pretty much shit. I would say you lose a little bit of that really good thump but it's not bad but if we're the racket strung in the 40s or 50s it's all right you get a little bit more of a responsive sound on the ball i'm thinking the ball gets hits harder this way I don't think so. Yeah, so it's understandable that Manorino is dropped down in tension. If he had tennis elbow or other arm injuries, you could see why he did it for sure. And probably just kept going lower. And he says it saved his career by going lower. Ah, oh, you really have to cover the ball. But you don't get more power. You get about the same amount of power. Maybe it's a little less effort, but I don't think so. It's pretty much the same. You just lose feedback. But not as much as you, even that as you would think. And you can see that the strings are a little bit out of place. So they don't snap back as well. You can see that I can move them. I can move them. That's probably the biggest detriment in control. If the strings aren't snapping back, um, I think you could assume that if you don't string this all the time, it would be garbage. But you can see there's no snap back. And you can see these won't stay out of place like they'll, you know, a little bit. 
I mean, Super Smash, see it snaps back at 52. Alright, switching back to switching back to the normal 52 pounds Super Smash. I'm interested if the confidence, if you get more confidence probably from this, just because you don't have that responsive thump and that responsive feel and feedback. You, it certainly plays obviously a lot more dead like you'd expect. All right, so what are the initial impressions? Uh, sounds way different, feels uh, soft, feels easier on the arm, but um, I don't feel like I can get a lot of pop off the ball. doesn't feel as satisfying as my other racket no, when, I, when that, I really make a good contact. I think that's a good way of saying it. What about power and spin or control? I don't find that you get any more power by going lower. I feel like I almost lose power. Yeah, it does feel so dead that it loses power. What about control? Control? I, I actually have more control than I thought I was going to have. Yeah. It didn't seem agree. as out of control as, as I thought it was going to be. But compare it to your normal tension? Less control, more control? Uh, yeah, definitely a little less. Yeah, it's a little more springy, right? For sure. It'll get yeah. away from you a little bit more. But if you hit it solid, I feel like it pretty much goes in the same spot with very little loss of control, right? Yeah. But if you're hitting a little bit off, then it gets a little bit more wild. So it's, is it crazy to use 22 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that low. I might go a little lower than what I'm using now, but I definitely wouldn't go this low. Cause I, like I said, I don't feel, it's not as satisfying to hit a, you know, a nice hard ball. Cause I can't do that with the, with the 20. It's also not insane to see why Manorino can play top 20 tennis with it. I mean, you can do it. He's proven that string tension really doesn't matter. Whether it's 22 or 20 or 50, you can be top 20, right? Yeah, especially if he's using it to, to save, save his arm or you know, injury or... But like I showed a minute ago, there's no snap back on the strings. You can see out of, out of place they stay. So that's definitely gonna make you lose control. You want the strings to be uniform and return to their pattern whenever they get bent out of shape like in the old days you lose if you hit that spot you lose control it's certainly not crazy for most likely for people to go down into the 30s possibly if you have arm issues like if it plays this well at 22 it can only play a little bit better at 30 or 35 yeah. mm -hmm. so a lot of people think it's crazy to go down to anything less than 40 <clears throat> but it's not you can play with it mm -hmm. right yeah for sure so like anything else in tennis it's subject it's subjective you should experiment. And if you have arm problems, you should definitely consider going probably into the 30s, right? Because yeah, there's not sure. really a loss in control. Would we play with them? No. <laughs> it doesn't have enough pop and enough response. All right, so that's our 22 pound test. I hope that's somewhat informative, maybe. Try it or don't try it. Take our advice or don't. <laughs> So reflecting on this hitting session that we had with these rackets, I think the grand takeaway is, in my opinion, most people really wouldn't like hitting with 22 pound tensions. It's just really not very satisfying. It's still impressive that Adrian Manorino can hit such a consistent ball at that level with a racket strung so low. But most importantly for the recreation player, sure, while it's great on the arm and it's easy on the arm, it's just not very satisfying at all, and I would recommend that while we didn't do a test at 35 pounds, if you have arm issues, going below 35 or 40 pounds is probably getting a little excessive, where you just lose that responsiveness in the racket. So going low is nice, going this low is not nice. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you can like and subscribe, that would be awesome, and I'll 
I will see you in the next ace.